Joining me now, former congressman, current dean of business at Liberty University. Okay, well, look, universities being communist training camps is not exactly news. It's certainly not news to anybody right. who watches this show. But K through 12, it worming its way down there. Yeah. I think yeah. that probably will be a shock to some people. What are you talking about? Yeah, there? yeah well, the, the, the parents... Uh, you know, have always thought, hey, my you know, local school board, my teachers are like me. They're in my community. Everything's fine and dandy uh, until COVID. And they started seeing uh, some of the lessons at home virtually. And they fell off their couches and said, what are you teaching my kid? I got a third grader and you're telling them they're morally guilty for being white. And you're telling my kid, if I'm African-American Christian, that my kid is oppressed. Uh, I don't want to hear it no matter who I am. Uh, that's not the, the totality of my kid. My kid is made in the image of God. Uh, I want my kid to have a successful life. I want them to be free, and I, I want them to be treated equally and, and with respect by everyone. I don't want a war uh, in this country. We just, we've gotten done with wars. Let's not do that. And so the, 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 the parents at home have been listening to this indoctrination. It's the furthest thing from education and the Socratic method of debate, right? Going back and forth, you ask questions. Socrates was the greatest teacher ever. And uh, that's what we got to get back to, you know, reading, writing, arithmetic, and uh, some philosophy and the, the basic uh, human truth. Are parents, uh, now I know they're more awake than they were, Dave. I know that. Are they yeah. awake yep. enough? Are they awake enough? Because that, that's the ultimate question, right? I can understand, uh, all right, I don't want little Billy to learn that he's racist, but are they really aware of how American history is even taught in K through 12? Because it's really bad, Dave. No, 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 no. A, a, a very small percentage are, are finally starting to catch on. That word's going to get out this fall. It's going to spread. Uh, but it's also a lack of courage, too, right? Everybody wants to be liked and loved. That's the key word. And that, that virtue love uh, came about and originated, uh, roughly speaking, in the year zero with, with Christ, right? That, that was not a dominant virtue the Greeks had or the Romans had. Uh, and so it, it's interesting. Ask yourself tonight around the dinner table, the families that are listening, uh, name, name something that Jesus did that was loving. And you'll be stumped. You'll be trying to come up with some warm, sentimental way. Did Jesus go around hugging people and saying, hey, I love you. I'm okay. You're okay. All the, you know, slap people on. No. Uh, what he did was sacrifice his life for others. That was love, right? And so we've gotten warm and rich and lazy in the Western tradition. And uh, we got to get back to reality that uh, the purpose of life, right, especially if you believe that uh, there's an infinity facing us, uh, love, take a look at what love really means. And the good book's a place to start.